guys. Oh, what's oh, up? Well, it's Kelly and Lynn. And we're back only on Mondays. Oh, it's Thursday it's again. It's Thursday again. We always every do time. it every week, right? Every right. time. So um, hopefully by now it's kind of become a routine. So it has been for us. We have. I need to stay uploading though. That's one thing I'm so bad at is uploading. I didn't even upload our last one that we did about the animals. But today we're back with a new podcast. And what's our kind of topic for today? So our topic today would be, as you can see from the screen, about the FDA and whether. Um, well. How do you even approach this conversation? Do you know what the FDA is doing? Do you know what the FDA is doing to you? (laughs) Do you know what the FDA is not doing for you? That's the real question. Do you know about vegetable oil? That's the real question. So it's just kind of like a a, a mixed bag today, I would say, of of how is your government poisoning you? And what exactly that you do put in your body that's so regulated to be normal that it's not okay? Right. So... This video we were watching um, earlier, Food Incorporated? Yeah, Food Inc. Um, Food Inc. Food Inc. Um, <coughs> basically, it, what it's about is um, it's showing you how we're factory-based. Uh, and the government to, came in and, like, changed all that rec- right. as of recent, you know, like, in the so, past hundred years. Yeah, so basically, what it, what it really shows is how we just really, <coughs> really went factory-based with our food, how everything is somewhat manufactured and... and is made for profit. Right. And I mean, it, that's kind of when all of our problems started. Like, people, like, nowadays, they talk about, like, obesity being um, a problem. They talk about, like, heart issues being a problem. Mm-hmm. You could talk about vaccines being a problem. There's many different things that I feel like come into our into our lives today that are problems for everyday Americans right now that can be traced back to our government, the FDA in general. The underlining issues. Really, the underlying like, issues. Is, yeah. Right. Because, like, things that they have said are safe and okay in this country in other countries is not safe well one i'm Why sorry is that? one thing that really stands to, out to me would be the the hot cheetos yeah so the red Certain food dye, diets right the red food dye in there is not allowed over there um i think, believe it's in england in a lot of different places right and yeah. it's because of what they what they have so right. um and it's it, these are basic chips which is very weird because you have all these kids eating these eating chips, chips that are supposedly popular. Um, when I was a child, I was eating Takis out the ass. And right. I can't stand them now. That shit hurts my stomach. And it's because of all the shit that's in it. But apparently it's okay to eat here. Like, it's okay to eat here and to give your kids. And they, they package it in such a way that you do give it to your kids. But yet, in other countries, they're I saying... I feel like most people who go shopping do not read what's on the back of their food. And no. what's funny is, the front of your food can say... We don't contain this and that. But if you go to the ingredients and you read it, they're going to have that in there. Yep, yep. And it's as long as they tell you that it's in there, <coughs> they can get away with it, honestly. And right. and what's really fucked up is there, there could be something in your food that's, like... Really bad for you? Yeah, that's what's in there. But what's, like... I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. Okay, moving on. They can just have something that's, like, dangerous for you and lie about it, basically on your packaging. I think that's what you're going for. But when they mix mix in food, you could have one thing that's, like, mixed with so much other shit, like, just one product. Put into a whole nother food. Yeah, and they so, say that it contains yeah. this. It, that something is good, but it really has a minuscule amount of that thing mm-hmm. in it. You know, yeah, and it's mixed with a hundred other bad things. Another thing that I realized was the veggie chips. Mm-hmm. They passed off to be fucking good chips. Yeah, they're, they're literally it's in their name, veggie sticks. Right. But you get into reading, and it's <coughs> completely powder. Yeah. It's it's not even healthy for you. They're it's powder. Like, and speaking of veggie, anything, vegetable oil, guys. Mm-hmm. This I used to been, love veggie chips, dude. Yeah. Yeah, and they're probably fried with vegetable oil. They like are because Crisco. when you eat them, they I think it's canola oil or, yeah. or vegetable oil, maybe. Yep. But when you eat them, they're like they're so oily and they're good, but they're not they're not any better than what the other chips would be. Right. So. I've been, this has been like a passion project, not even really, but like this has been something that I've been like um, reading more about and just kind of discovering that apparently people have known for years and have been trying to warn about is about vegetable oils. So I was telling you guys at work earlier and a couple other friends that had no idea about uh, vegetable oils. Where can I dump this? The guts and stuff? Um, Put it in that ashtray right there. Sorry. 
Sorry, guys. So um, vegetable oil. So vegetable oil is terrible. And any, any kind of soybean oil. So, like, anything. Okay, so, like, this is an article from 2015 um, from thankyourbody.com. And I don't, I don't really know um, this website particularly, but I trust what this article is saying because I've done a ton of research about it. But, um, so people think that you cannot use any fats or oils at all when cooking, but that's not true. It's just particularly soybean oils. And you know how, you know how people say like now like soy boys, they like use like soy and like men who eat soy as like not having enough testosterone or no, whatever. I've Have never heard, heard that? of that, but I've. Okay, so that's kind of a thing. I've heard of like soy using soybean or or vegetable oil as an alternative to regular oil. Canola oil right. is better. Right. And so that, as a person who doesn't regularly cook, I wouldn't know. Right. Um, I tend when I did cook for myself, I tend to like just let my food use its own oil. You, you get what I'm saying? Like the fat. <coughs> yeah, that's <coughs> that's good. <coughs> Excuse me. That's good too, but. A lot of people use vegetable oil in baking or in um, frying or whatever. Mm. And a lot of people say it's a better alternative to vegetable They say oil. it is because it has the word vegetable in it, right? Right, so, right. But it's not really vegetable oil. So vegetable, uh, per this article on thinkyourbody.com, vegetable oils are oils that have been ex- extracted from various seeds. The most common include rape, rapeseed. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. but. It literally says rapeseed. Mm. Canola oil, which is basically another word for it. Soybean oil, corn oil, sunflower oil. Hold on, hold on. That. So it's it's basically fucking canola oil plus... Any kind of these oils. Okay. <coughs> Any kind of these oils. Unless basically, you go soybean. to the back and read, hey, it only contains like sunflower oil or... Yeah. Because a lot of them will say soybean oil. Like that's, that's your big like... And it's avoid a, this fact, shit at all costs, guys. This is if, if you take anything from this podcast, please don't eat vegetable oil. It's, it's the fact that, that what that says is rapeseed, and, and what that basically is is canola oil. Yeah. And <coughs> what and gets soybean. me is they're using a whole different word. They right. wouldn't even go and use canola oil because that's how they get you. Yeah. Like, they'll use a whole other word, and you're like, okay, this is different. Like sodium. It's yeah. not passed on like a salt. Yeah, but you know, and so basically the difference is it says like in this article, um, unlike coconut oil or olive oil that can be extracted by pressing, these newfangled oils have to be extracted in a very unnatural way. So basically, think of a sunflower, right? Mm. This fucking tiny thing, and think of how what you have to go through to press that thing to get any kind of oil from that little tiny. The seed. big pressers, right? I'm assuming yeah, but, that's what you're talking and about. And then right, and then think of a coconut and think of an olive. You know, not that hard to get oil from either one of those things because they're a little bit bigger, they're fruitier, they're like juicier, you know. So it's unnatural the way that they process these oils. That's why they're so bad for you. Okay. So corn, sunflower, uh, anything that's made from a seed, Mm -hmm. you want to avoid at all costs because of the process in which they process this oils is terrible for you and i cannot stress this enough, dude. Like I really cannot. Like this is Mm -hmm. once I once I found out about this, I was I was like done with the government because. The fact that they let us eat this shit is gross. So, um, <coughs> so consider that at the turn of the 20th century, that amount of vegetable oils consumed was practically zero. Today, the average consumption is 70 pounds a year per person. What the fuck? Think of that, dude. In the turn of the 20th century, the you amount of vegetable oils, did you know, you can put vegetable oil in a car and make it go. Like, it literally is bad. It's bad shit. So, it, so to, and that was at the turn of the 20th century. Can you really do you that? You can swear to God. It's it's literally fuel for cars. Watch, I'll, I'll probably get into it. Um, on me, like, can you do that? I'm on sorry. you. On you. On you. So, so that number. I want to have enough money in life to be able to do that. To, like, I just wouldn't try, try it. Fuck up a car one day, like, yeah. just try vegetable oil and see if that runs. <coughs> I couldn't believe that unless I tried it myself. You feel me? Okay. Like, Listen to this. Even wow. today, despite the fact that cardiovascular disease and cancer continue to rise at an alarming rate, while butter consumption is down, butter's good, butter's great, and vegetable oil consumption is at an all-time high, people are still believing the hype and buying this very non-traditional, non-healthy food-like product. Mm-hmm. So perhaps the name would lead you to believe that these oils are good for you, but they are definitely far from it. Okay. So... Let me see. This is the this is the process, okay? The so 
basically it's talking about how, how you get butter. So before we talk about the process by which vegetable oils are made, let's first look at one of my favorite traditional fats, butter. Butter is a simple process that comes when cream separates from milk. This is a natural process that only takes a little patience. Once the cream and milk is separated, all you do is skim off the cream and shake it until it becomes butter. And that's as easy as that. That's natural. Let's compare this to the product production of canola oil. Here's an oversimplified version of the process. Step one, find canola seeds. Oh wait, they don't exist. Canola oil is actually made from a hybrid version of the rapeseed, most likely genetically modified and heavily treated what with pesticides. I don't know what rapeseed is. Where's my phone? Two, heat the rapeseeds at a naturally high temperature so that they oxidize and are rancid before you ever buy them. Oh, my phone's in front of me. Wow! I'm on FaceTime and everything. Homie's on the phone, bro. Oh yeah, we got a special surprise secret guest, maybe, possibly. Possibly. You want to go? But, um, <laughs> listen, step three. Once I'm done with this, then we can move on. But process with a petroleum solvent to extract the oils. Do you hear me? Yes, I'm hearing you. I'm searching up rapeseed. Okay. I'm just oh. making sure you, you yeah, heard that. Look at my phone. Hey. Homie. Can you see us, Chris? I, don't, I think you can see us. Oh, that's funny. You can, well, well, you can <coughs> see somebody when you have FaceTime like that? Yeah. On me, can you see me? We're just talking about FaceTime, yeah, guys. That's it's a new trippy. Thing. It's a new thing here. I okay. thought I was in the dark, dude. Like, I thought he could not see me. He can um, see you. I'm glad I learned this with my cousin. See you? God? The government. Oh, yeah. That's and, no. and God. Oh, but, I thought you, you know. I love how you have your, your camera covered with a sticker. Oh, oh yes, ma'am. I sure do. Okay, great right, scene. Okay, so step four. After we process the shit with petroleum solvent. Just try to repeat that point to you guys. Daddy, can I have your phone? Um, where is my phone? I don't know where my phone's at, bro. Okay. It's over there. Check my pouch. You, you know, know what? what? This is much. I'm just. Well, I can search. It I can search right here, bro. Oh, Watch. Right. Let, me, let me pause what I'm doing. Pause for the cause here. So I can help you. So oh. help me, help me learn. Help me to help you. Cause I don't know what it is either. This is a fucking rape seed. What the hell? No one is rape. I feel like I'm being raped right now. I feel like I'm being raped. What is it good for? So it's just oil. It's, it's a type of plant. Yeah, but, but, but I don't like it. Uh, it's oil. Yeah, I don't like it. Anyways, so let's finish these, these. This is the process to get canola oil. With butter, all you gotta do is churn, 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 skim, 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 and you're good. Okay? You got some butter. So step four, heat some more and add some acid to remove any nasty wax solids that formed during the first processing. Step five is shrink the oil with more chemicals to improve the color. Step six is deodorize the oil to mask the horrific smell from chemical processing. And they're being extra with this wording, but you get the picture, right? That's out of there. Yeah. That's how we get canola oil, vegetable oil. Don't eat that shit. And it's, yeah, it's the fact that we eat that shit. Yeah, like lard is good. Okay, coconut oil is good. Olive oil is good. Um, butter is good. Can you quit oil honestly i mean you could but like you need oil for a little bit of something like if you want to bake you need oil if you want to fry you know like you always might need it and it's good to have